I'm so happy. I'm literally smiling right now, which has been rare this season, rare in the last two years. And I think my fellow Chelsea fans will agree. We are so happy right now. And we can also see where we are going, which has been very, very rare for us in the last two years. And I'm feeling very positive with the way we are going. It's like our ventures are assembling. All our problems are just getting solved and everything is coming to fruition right now. And I'm not getting over it. I'm not going way over it. I know bad times are also there as a Chelsea fan. I uh, experience it. It cannot be worse than what we've experienced this season. But overall, everything now is falling right into the place. I'm just going to give a bit of a small brief of the match and then about the, all the good things that are coming right now for Chelsea. First on the match, we played Forest away. Now, it was good news for us. Sadly, uh, wishing the best for Luton, but their most probably relegation was confirmed because Nottingham Forest for me, that already energy that they would have had for this match was sapped away when they knew they were going to be safe. Along with that, Forrest started the match well, but we got the early lead with Mudrick. And then I think we had chances to wrap the game up. We didn't take it. Nottingham Forest grew into the game. They hit the bar. We hit the bar. Palmer, fantastic again. That pass to Mudrick, beautiful. But he didn't miss a very good chance to get us a lead. And then I was again and again shouting on my television when I was watching the match. Please don't let cut Hudson Roy to cut on his right. Sorry for that. Uh, Hudson Roy to cut on his right. Do not allow that. Gusto was doing it on many occasions. Chaloba was doing it on many occasions. And sadly, at some point, we were going to get punished. But the biggest thing was, many Chelsea fans at that time on social media, I was also sad. I was thinking, are we going to throw it all away now? All the good things we have done, we are going to throw it away now. Now Europa League is gone again because this has been the story as a Chelsea fan. Beat Man, uh, draw against Manchester City, sorry, draw against Arsenal, lose to Brentford. Play well, lose. And that's been the story for us whole season. Losing to Middlesbrough when we have a good result and then losing to Middlesbrough away. We just haven't had a consistent run and you were thinking it's all going to go away. Then Reese came back to the pitch and Koku was there, Sterling was there, the whole team assembled. And on away grounds where our record is not that good, it's been very rare we have fought back. We came back from 2-1 down, scored two goals within two minutes and maturely, unlike the Sheffield match in this season, we maturely kept the lead and won 2-3. And now, we are 6 months behind Tottenham at 5th. If they lose to Manchester City, they lose to Sheffield, which is very unlikely, we can even finish 5th. And we are 3 percent above Manchester United, we should have been way above in this season, above them. All No disrespect to Manchester United, but we have been far better than this season. We should have been more points above, but we are just our own worst enemy. And now, we are... Uh, I think we are above two points of Newcastle. Newcastle play Manchester United. And I think it's all good news because Newcastle, Manchester United, I do expect United to get a draw. And I think if we can get a job done against Brighton, Europa League spot is confirmed for us until United beat City in the final. But that's a very good end to the season. And we could end the season with five victories in a row. And now to the more positive news that are coming out, Reese is back now. And Reese is back with a fantastic SS which he, we know he's capable of. That is the quality of Reese James. The touch from his, this touch that Reese James does is something I've always liked. He's uh, putting the ball on his chest, running with the ball, and then putting that cross in. Jackson scoring that header. That is something we have missed because I love Malo Gusto, but Reese is Reese. And Reese is back now. Hopefully, he's fit and well. And Kuku, he came on the pitch and he showed in a number 10 role. His slicky passes, good positioning, how good of a player he can be. Sterling came on, and this is good news for us as Chelsea fans and for Sterling as well. That is the goal you need to score to get the fans on our side. And along with that, now this provides more competition to Madrid. It provides more competition in the team. And that was good to see. Gusto is back. Colville is back. Yugo Chuku is back. And everything right now is falling into the right place. Our injured players are coming back. The current players are doing really well. Each and every player in every match is progressing. You go on uh, to uh, Chaloba. Yes, his performance is not one of his best, but he has been really good since his comeback from injury. Bardashile has looked confident. Silva, excellent. He's leading on a high. What another performance that was from him. You go on to Kukurella, not as good in this game, but still continues at least consistent performances. Kaiseru deserves his praises. Deserves his praises. This man, his passing in the game against Nottingham Forest. He set up the goal that Reese just put to Jackson. He made a fantastic pass to Palmer where he should have put in the back of the net. Kaiseru's passing and is defending. What another good performance. But because he's a big price tag, people won't talk about him. Meduke was a bit poor, but that happens with young players. You have to give them time. And now with the injured players coming back, hopefully Lavia comes back in the preseason with one or two signings. Hopefully the ownership get it right. We get one or two experienced players like Ivan Tooney and get another one in the box. And along with this young team, with everyone coming back, we could really go to the good heights. 
because if our injured players were fit this season again i'm not making excuses we would at least be in fighting against aston villa for the champions league spot but again i won't make excuses united have had injuries newcastle have had injuries each and every team have that we should have done better we did not do but now with the players coming back i'm feeling very positive and now to summarize this video the positives are just not injury, injured players coming back this team is fighting back from losing position we are winning away from home we are scoring minimum now at least two to three goals every game all attackers mostly bar palmer slowly starting to show their uh, potential jackson now is scoring goals but he still has to do a lot better in front of goal palmer is excellent mudri got a big goal for his confidence sterling got the goal jackson is getting the goals mediuke is recently really performing well in showing his potential gusto is coming from the bench as a right back and showing good attacking qualities and i think we are going on a really right way and the manager i still believe looking at the market is better we keep him and let him build something because right now it's better to continue with the stability i don't want a thomas frank i don't want these sort of managers right the keep pochettino and let's build otherwise i don't know but overall looking forward to brighton game and hopefully we can win that please like subscribe and uh, share the channel and also do let me know your opinion because your opinion means a lot to me thank you wishing you the best